And we're rolling. It's okay, it's wrong. You ready to go? Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Mr. Toastmaster, Cecilia Carroll Michon. So glad to be here. Feels, like I said the other day at Caterpillar, it feels like family. This is a banquet hall and many great things happen here. I heard there was a wedding here. So there's gonna be a wedding. Tenants. It's interesting we chose this word. I hope you like the invocation that I found. All of you are so involved in your community, what happens and all that, and all of you believe in passion to one degree or the other. And the gist of this technical briefing, which essentially boils down to what can we do with what we already got. Sean started with a little joke there with recording through that phone. I'll come back to him later and tell him you can literally block with that phone. And that's what this is about. All the things that we can do to, after obtaining proper clearance and all that, as Carol reminded us, we gotta keep the common sense there. All the things that we can do to further promote, publicize, remember the first speech on the goodwill speech about just letting people know what you're up to. And the title again and the objective of the speech is holster publicity. We're paying for it already. Okay, I don't know how many of you have the latest and greatest. I see that uh, Cecilia most likely has a COU. By the way, those are really dangerous company owned company. Yeah, company only use COU. I, I gotta figure out the background, I'm sorry. COU, don't use it for this. I'm just gonna start with that little disclaimer there. Otherwise, if you have your own phone, we'll talk about it. Because again, in that holster, I usually like to refer to, and since Sean is a writer, I hope he backs me up on this one. We used to say that the pen was mightier than the sword. So I don't know how many megatons are we carrying around in terms of might. Because the fact is that those devices are close to miraculous. It's not easy, it's not something that everybody has access to, and it has been changing the landscape of a lot of activities already. Okay? Politics, advertising, yes, it has damaged people's careers and all that. Let's, you know, let's go to the, let's put on the uh, radiation suit and protect ourselves. The bottom line is that that energy, that capacity to further develop, further publicize, and mostly make people aware of, which is something I'm kind of tying this briefing since I have a little bit of time with the first goodwill speech as to maybe figure out how we could, in our own backyards, to borrow from Sean's enthusiastic approach to so much that we can do here, get to the magic number, 20 core people, we could rock this down more ways than one. Bottom line, paid for or free. That's what I learned on that first speech. Paid for or free. The reason why these things have become so popular is that you are instant publishing things. Yes, there's a quote out there. Again, I'm gonna mix the warnings in here. Places like, and I have to say, I have to bring in the T word, Twitter. It's the place where you let the whole world know what you're thinking about before you even had a chance to think about it. The Toastmasters, so I know we're pretty much into common sense. And I wanted to highlight the fact that in order to participate in those venues, I've been having kind of like a transformational moment of my own. I've been slowly progressing from track form, oh, sorry, no brands here, from prepaid, I call it prepaid purgatory, Yes, no, okay, bye, honey. Very short, very to the point because I'm seeing those minutes go down. Now uh, my wife is sharing her plan, our family plan, but I stopped her at getting me a full-fledged phone. I said, you know what, let's remain frugal. Let me see what I can do with only the texting. Guess what? I have access to most of those venues. Actually, since I have to go a little slower on the crafting and the creation of the messages, 
finding that I take my time to produce a better message, you can say, okay? And that's what I want to, uh, again, tie into the first speech because fortunately, again, we have the world audience watching the tape eventually and uh, tied to the what fours of modern sharing. And I think I, I already said it. I hope that the club may decide to figure out ways that we can get out there, much like I'm doing. Maybe we can bounce around our accounts, comment. We'll get into that there. The key here, just like the speech objective stated, is to keep an eye on the audience. I get a lot of criticism because I do get technical. I've been reading an article, very simple to Google, to Google I'm sorry. If anybody wants to write it down, it's a new literacy wired. Just Google those three words. Three words. You want to add, add the author's name. His name is Clive Thompson. I go back to that article, and this is the only Greek word, literally, that I'm going to throw into the speech. He talks about kairos. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Kairos, in terms of the way communication has shifted from that asynchronous on there, put something on the paper, it has to be perfect, it has to be crafted to the audience that reads the paper, to a more conversational, one-on-one, -on -one, immediate response kind of deal, which he mirrors to something that the Greeks worked on in the fora, as they call it, where some of the cornerstones, some may say, of modern civilization were laid by the great philosophers of the past because they were engaging people one on one. There was really no recording, there was nothing being taped. Hmm, reminds me of Toastmasters. And the interaction was there. It was very much one on one. And he talks about engaging that audience assessment, I mean, sorry, going through a process of audience assessment as the key to what you're putting out there. Like I said, uh, I have a sample here that's a little bit skewed because Patrick knows about this a lot. So I tried to broad, bring it down to principle so that everybody may decide to try it and, and share it. And since I'm on a first name basis here with the audience, I was thinking about you, Sean, when I wrote create content drafts on the fly. That's something that I'm also kind of liking is that sometimes in the morning I wake up, I have a thought, I have an idea or something that is just boiling and rolling. You know what, it's just a draft. I'm just going to put it out there. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Maybe it'll turn into something else. But the point is that uh, we're able to just instant publish. Not all of it is great, but some of it may reverberate either within ourselves towards creating a bigger, grander piece or with others that may jump out and say, oh, I was thinking about that too. This is essentially what happens with the active share. The where and the house. Very important to close here, because so I'm gonna follow the, the slides. There's a perception of authority, of th authoritativeness that is attached to the assiduousness, I mentioned that word before, of how regularly we go up there. Uh, Patrick and I were talking about, you know, how you get rewarded by asking questions, by interacting, by replying, hey, what do you mean by that? And then the conversation develops. And that addresses this point, who, why, me personally, these uh, venues allow the enthusiasm to flourish. There is a reason besides branding that they, again, that great hall of gregariousness, of, of gatherings and, 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 and people getting to know each other. Uh, it's called Twitter and, well, not this week, it's gotten cold, but a few weeks, a few days ago when it was a little warm, you could feel them all jumping in the morning and joining, so birds of a feather. I always like to highlight the fact that it helps with crafting your persona because everybody gets Google nowadays. So in this case, we'll be crafting the persona of the club. So who cares? What's the story here? By documenting what we do, and I'm gonna go now to the ulterior motive of this technical briefing, is to encourage those who know how to do it, maybe to join forces and figure out strategies to publicize what we do. And those who are perhaps waiting to see what this is all about to investigate it further. Cecilia mentioned Wikipedia. There are so many sources out there, yes. Very important bottom line about the who cares. When you have a blog that's been around for a while, you're already giving the traditional media outlets material to develop. 
and perhaps the story, quote unquote, gets picked up. And ladies and gentlemen, what's the objective? Personally, like I told you a, few, a handful of times, that feeling, oh my gosh, this is so great that I found this group. I hope that ripples, that echoes within our own backyard. I'm hearing all this redrawing, reorganizing things. Bottom line, the more, the merrier. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. And cut.